Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, I will present to you a method to make your deep learning project in plant phenotyping more uh, collaborative. So my name is Mitwada Hiliari and I work as an engineer for a French bioimaging uh, research group focused on developing new methods for plant phenotyping. Our group is located in uh, Angers, west of Paris in the Roar Valley. Here we are fortunate to collaborate with research groups specializing in plant studies, ornamental plants and plant pathogen interactions, seeds and seedling. In our collaborations, our research group provides experimental science groups with imaging solutions for phenotyping. So this work represents the interaction of two words the words of mathematicians and programmers to develop image processing uh, method and in the second word we have the uh, experimental scientists i mean uh, agronomist engineer or biologist currently when an agronomist or biologist want to solve a uh, image processing problem they use a click button software like uh, elastic. However, such software reaches its limits when the image processing problem becomes more complex. Therefore, programmers and mathematicians develop some uh, model based on code and algorithm. An image processing code is usually present as a notebook sheet. When this notebook is sent to an agronomist or a biologist, model is difficult to reuse because the code is very difficult to understand and to manipulate. Hence, there is a need to find a method to make the interaction between biologists and agronomists more collaborative with programmers and mathematicians. Our solutions involves selecting tools with user interface to manage specific aspects of the learning project. Firstly, we introduce the EGI infrastructure, a virtual platform that enables access to a high throughput uh, computing across Europe through grid computing techniques. EGI offers many services, including the EGI notebook for coding and the uh, web page named DPS for accessing deep learning modules. Among modules, we have a plant species classifier for classifying plant images. In DeepOS, any EGI users can deploy their own deep learning modules. This deployment relies on uh, Python code. Lastly, we have the Manini plugin, uh, Napoli plugin. This plugin can make the inference of three type of imaging, image processing techniques, I mean image segmentation, image classification, and object detection. Here, you can run your model, and the user can make the correction. I would like to remind you the theme of this presentation is to propose a method to make the collaboration between the experimental scientists and the mathematician programmers easier, we suggest the following method. Integrating these uh, tools into a pipeline structured in three steps. This structure promotes an efficient workflow where experimental uh, scientists process and infer images. If the results are, if the results are not satisfied, they use the Manini plugin for corrections and ultimately experimental scientists can retrain the model with their images and the collected masks in DPS. The refining models can be shared to uh, the uh, scientific community for enhance the collaborative effort. Here I make a description of Manini. The Manini plugin facilitates image inference through three types of uh, image processing, I mean Diagnostication, classification, and detection. Users only need to import three elements, I mean the model, the images, and the label names. When these elements were imported, they can run the inference. The results are displayed in the interactive Napari window. So the 
the user can collect the inference results. For segmentation, a brush or eraser can be used. For classification, the uh, class names can be edited in a table. And for detection, the position of boxes can be adjusted. Finally, results can be exported to the uh, user's PC. Deep Hybrid Data Cloud, or DeepIS, is a web service offering deep learning modules. To access it, user must register with an uh, account in IA4 EOS, specifying their institution and the purpose of for using the platform. Once registered, end user can access services and handle modules for data inference or model training. Deploying a unit for these talks, I mean uh, data inference or model training, requires uh, specifying resources details. For model training, a Nextcloud account is mandatory to store the data which DPS uses to retrieve images for retraining. An xCloud account is given after you are an EGI user. If you are interested to test DPS, I recommend visiting the IF4 EOS webpage where you will find documentation on creating a, a login and accessing DPS services. If you are interested in testing uh, Manini, it can be installed on Napari as a Python uh, library. For more information about the Manini plugin, I recommend to visit uh, the Manini page, Napari Hub uh, website. Similarly, to learn uh, about uh, DeepIS, their webpage offers extensive documentation on getting started. Additionally, you can uh, follow the activity of our group in Twitter or YouTube. In YouTube, you, our research group uploaded some videos about didactic material for our students and scientists. These videos include tutorials on using uh, DeepIS and Manini. So now we can let's start with a demo. So now for the demo, we start with an notated dataset from an ORCAD. The objective is to detect flowers on apple trees using DeepIS. I go to the uh, AI for EOS webpage. I click dashboard to access the marketplace. I log in my uh, AGI account. So I accept. Yes. And now I have my marketplace with all deep learning modules. To proceed with the demo using DeepIS, you, you navigate to the DeepIS web interface and enter the Blossom module to create a data inference unit. After filling in the required inference, information and selecting the desired resources, you deploy the unit. Once deployed, you access the inference unit You can import your image and initiate the inference process. When the process is done, please you can download the mask result through a provided link. You can take a look at your mask to assess the flower detection accuracy. When I look at my mask, I can see that not all flowers were detected. So I'm going to use the Manini plugin to make a new inference and collect manually the inaccuracies. On Napari, you obtain the, the Manini plugin either through a, a graphical interface or a line of code. After selecting image segmentation for segmentation task, you import your images, model, and model labels into the interface. So you click OK and start the inference. And you review the results and make any necessary correction to your images. After finishing corrections, you can export them using a specific widget. With your images and corrected mask, you have the option to further refine the model on DPS. So before, before you go to DPS, you need to go to your next cloud and to drop all your uh, data. And I mean your images and your mask. 
to enhance your model with the base, you access Blossom module and create a training unit, specifying the use of Jupyter for training execution via a notebook. You connect your database storage on Nextcloud, detailing the resources you plan to use. After deploying the unit, accessing a Jupyter Lab page, you enter your training unit to set the hyperparameters and learning phase values. Throughout the training, you will monitor performance through training and validation curves. When the processing is done, metadata, including the hyperparameter values and the model, are saved to your next clone, providing a comprehensive overview of the training session. So this presentation is done. I would like to first thank the Invite and Finite projects for enabling me to work on this subject. And thank you all for your attention.